Our next story is about a partnership between super speed and super brains. Mercedes-Benz has teamed up with Google. This is a first for the luxury vehicles company. It aims to offer super computer-like performance in every car with automated driving sensors. But what does this even mean? How can and why should cars be like supercomputers? Also, is Mercedes just trying to play catch-up? Is it trying to match the software-powered features of Tesla and Chinese newcomers? Will it work for Mercedes? Is it working for the others? Our next report tries to answer these questions and more. German car maker Mercedes-Benz has decided to team up with Google. They want to build cars which perform like supercomputers. Why should cars behave like computers? To become self-driving cars. In other words, Mercedes wants to make self-driving cars. And it wants Google to build the supercomputers for those. What are supercomputers? Machines that deliver much higher performance compared to your regular computers. Auto companies want them in cars. And for this, they're tying up with tech giants. So what will Google do with Mercedes? Give the cars superior navigation skills, offer traffic information, and automatically reroute them. It will also change the car entertainment systems. You'll be able to watch YouTube when the car is parked or in level 3 autonomous driving mode. This mode allows drivers to take their eyes off the wheel on certain roads. And Google is not the only companion for Mercedes on this journey. Other tech companies have been roped in, like semiconductor maker Nvidia and self-driving sensor maker Luminar. This will power the artificial intelligence of the car. The global market for self-driving cars is growing at a rate of 13% per year. By 2027, it's expected to cross 60 million units. Several automobile companies are entering the fray, turning cars into more than just a mode of transport, just like they turned phones into more than a mode of communication. Now it's your camera, your computer, your clock, wallet, navigation service, and a lot more. First, they offer the services, then they charge a premium on privacy. Cars could be next in line. Cars with internet and supercomputers. Top auto players are betting big on it. They're racing towards better innovation and innovating to race better. General Motors, Renault, Nissan and Ford are among the car makers who have embedded Google services into their vehicles. They offer Maps and Google Assistant, which begs the obvious question. Are these auto companies trying to play catch up with Tesla and Chinese newcomers? Software-powered features in cars have been pioneered by Tesla. These features allow better performance, battery range, and self-driving capabilities. Our cars are getting smarter. They have begun to look like highly complex computer systems on wheels. These computer systems create an in-vehicle network. The cables, computers, and sensors serve as a nervous system. This allows different parts of the vehicle to communicate. But what about safety? Self-driving cars routinely make news for accidents like these. Safety is a big factor for buyers, as is fuel economy and resale value. Survey after survey shows that car buyers have difficulty trusting self-driven cars. But with big data, auto companies are looking for big results.